up, everybody? It's April Dawn. Let's talk about it. This is Live, Work, Pose, Season 3, Episode 5. Now, I might have the episode wrong, but if I am wrong, y'all, you guys correct me, okay? So, this episode, I feel like I'm living in fairy tale land with these last few episodes of the series, okay? Um, like I said before, I wish they had more episodes or another season to kind of flesh out the stories a little bit more. It feels like we're getting kind of part of the story or half of the story. Y'all, don't worry about this background noise. I'm in a different location, okay? So, <laughs> can you hear me? Is my mic on? Like I said, it's a little bit of fairy tale land, but if you just go with the story and have a good time, that's what we're here for, to have a good time. So, I don't want to waste your time, so let's go ahead and get into it. As we start off this episode with Electra, she lets us know that she has come into some money, honey. She is rich honey she's cashing trump checks out here honey she, through one of her friends she has made a deal to work with the mafia to launder money through her business and through that she has become the mcdonald's of the sex call line people or whatever so she doing it big honey she's spending big cash she dropping money on the, all the nice and finer things in life she's taken to eating caviar lightly she got her a man mr chocolate is on call at all times period mama is living her best life we see Angel and Poppy they wake up together they're in love they're happy everything is great right and so they start to discuss their wedding and she's looking at magazines and so they plan this little small intimate wedding that they want to have with each other he's gonna see if he can get a dress from you know one of the designers and she's like okay that's a great idea and so they decide to go on down to the city hall, get married, and then they're going to meet the, the family at the dim sum place and have like a, just a little small ceremony just for the two of them. Now, I was a little bit confused about this because I'm pretty sure in 1994 or 1990s that you couldn't get married. You couldn't go down to the, the city hall and get married, child. Like, that just was not real, okay? Like, they would turn your ass around. Like, I don't know what they was talking about, but we was going to go with the story and just for the happiness factor, okay? Blanca is at home and Electra has bought her all this fabulous 1990s furniture it looked like a 90s sitcom threw up all over that apartment but you know mother will provide honey she has bought her all this nice furniture and as a matter of fact she has things for everyone Lulu you getting a brand new spanking trip to the rehab clinic, girl, because you're a crackhead. And so Lulu is in denial. She says she in class. She about to be a count. She got a new man who is the bouncer at the club, Jerome, who is community peeing. We found out about him community peeing a long time ago, right? Because wasn't he looking at Blanca, trying to get with Blanca at one point or something like this? So he just a pass around peeing. And you on here, um, you in denial. And she was like, girl, I'm, you are not clean. I know what clean look like, and you are not it, sis. Okay, Electra don't pull no punches honey angel and them are talking about this dress that she wish she could have or this wedding that she wish she can have and you know uh, this is what electra has decided to gift her she's going to give her the most fabulous wedding that's ever been had honey they're going to have all the luxury things all the finest all the nicest most luxurious items that can be found honey for a wedding she takes the ladies down to this dress shop and they start to try on dresses and the guy's helping them. He's really happy. Look, you know, like, I get your dress, girl. She tries on a multitude of dresses and then she finds one that she likes and then Electra's like, okay, let's get everybody a dress, bitch. Let's get everybody a dress. It's our day, honey. So they start trying on dresses. Everybody looks good. She's going to buy all the dresses, okay? So let me go get the, the manager. Let me go get the owner because he's going to be so happy that you guys are buying all these dresses. So he comes out and he's like, oh, hell no, we won't go. What the hell is this? I'm not finna sell my dresses to y'all. These men and women design these dresses for women, real women, okay? Not y'all. So I don't know where you thought you was going with this dress on, baby, but I'm not finna sell you nothing. And Electra's like, look, you don't have to accept us. You just need to accept our money. Like, that's all you need to do. This card is good. It's gonna work. It's gonna give you the money. He said, I would never be caught dead selling anything to you honey this is a respectable organization i said wait a minute so they grab their things and honey they leave after electra hydrates and reads him down and tells him that he hasn't been this close to a pussy 
since he was born. She reads him down and she lets him know that she is not finished with him yet. Meanwhile, Poppy is at work minding his own business, doing his thing, and a girl comes up to the job and she says she is the sister of his ex-girlfriend before Angel. And she was like, why did you leave my sister? You know what I mean? He was like, I didn't mess over her with Angel. Basically, I couldn't take the drug use and she just said I cheated on her and I let everybody believe it to let her save face. And he, she was like, okay, well, you know, it's nothing you can really do about it. You know what I mean? She knew the consequences whenever she started doing what she was doing, the drugs that she was doing. So... Um, they walk in the park and they talk and basically the sister has died from an overdose and the sister has a child. The child is named, you know, Emmanuel Christopher Poppy, the second and the third the child, the fourth and the fifth. And his, the exact same name is his. I think it was Esteban or something like that. Exact same name is his. It's your child. She was not no hoe and you need to come and see your child. So he goes to go meet the child and the child is real cute. Is giving me Forrest Gump, you know. Um, type of scene. He immediately loves the kid. It's really cute. They hug. It's a cute moment. It's not really that believable, but it's a cute moment because I know they had Dana. Okay. I know they had Dana in 1994. I'd have been like, okay, this sounds wonderful, but I still need for you to give me a DNA test. But he believes that this is his child, so it's his child. Now, Electra has spoken to her compadres that work in the, uh, you know, the uh, organized crime business, and she wants to get back at the dress owner or the dress shop owner who put them out. And they're like, you know, wouldn't it look suspicious if we just went and go stole that dress? Because she don't want no violence. And she says, no, but if you stole all the dresses in that hole, it's just going to look like a robbery, baby. So they go over there, they rob this man, they steal all the dresses. This is very unrealistic, okay, and very, very, everybody will be in jail, okay? But, <laughs> okay, maybe it's the mafia, maybe they, you know, have some hold over the police to where she can't get caught. Whatever the case may be, they go up and they run up on the man, they steal all the damn dresses, shop. Electra has this grand party for the girls, and she surprises them, and she tells them they're all going to have their own gown. They can pick their own gowns, and then she has strippers, and then she has the whole nine-yard bachelorette experience with the spa and everything, and Blanca is side-eyeing her like, girl, where you got this damn money from? Like, where you got this money? I feel like this is going to come to bite Electra in the butt at a later date, but we just don't know exactly, you know, how it's going to bite her in the butt, but it's definitely going to bite her in her butt at a later date. But honey, they just party it up and they have a fabulous time and I'm not even mad, okay? So Angel goes home to Poppy and Poppy is sitting down. He's thinking about what happened and he like, baby, listen, I got to tell you something. And she was like, what's going on? You don't want to get married. I knew this was going to happen. He was like, no, that's not it. What I have to tell you is that basically he has a child. The child needs to be taken care of. He wants to take the child in. And Angel does something very selfish, and she's just like, no, you know, no, I, this is not good for my sobriety. Well, first of all, nobody told your ass to get on drugs in the first place, ma'am. So, I mean, we supposed to care about your sobriety now? Like, I don't understand. So, but anyway, she said it's not good for her sobriety. She's not ready to be a mother to nobody. You need to take care of me instead of take care of a child. And, I mean, just very selfish. It very much turned me off from her character. I was like, wow, we've seen her be selfish before but this is wow okay you showing your true colors and he's like i've been there with you through everything like girl you was a whole crackhead out here girl okay i've been here with you through thick and thin and you just turn on me just that quick but just that quick honey she was like no <laughs> i don't receive this and she left and that's how the episode went off i'm pretty sure they're probably going to work it out and we'll have a beautiful wedding at the end of the season but oh, who knows child so i thought this episode was good like i said the whole season is giving it's giving fairy tale it's giving unrealistic as hell it's giving we just want a fanciful way to end these seasons off and, you know, give these people fan service. You know what I'm saying? So definitely giving that for me. But I am enjoying the episodes. It's, it's fun to watch. So I want to hear what you guys think about the episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will holler at you guys next week. Peace.